Last week, we finished modifying the bathroom vanity. Well, almost. Hauled in enough dirt to bring the kitchen subfloor to grade, and Garen and Ellie built an outhouse for the cabin site. Stay tuned as we continue our progress on the additions to the main house and cabin. We need to cut this wall down just at the very bottom here so that we can pull away the wall so that this dirt level goes right even, Stephen, with the level of the floor on the other side. I'm filming a filming camera. Does this have to be filmed? No. Good. Waiting for Watch me work. Get... Watch me work. Watch yeah. <laughs> me sleep. Wait, there might be. I'm putting this in right now, but I'm thinking about replacing it with another faucet that I have. It's very similar, only it's a brushed aluminum look. The color of the, and, and texture of the faucet will fit better with this uh, corrugated metal look that we have going on. Oh my gosh, what is this color? I want it green. Garen found this. <laughs> hey, you know what? It looked more red than pink, and it was $7 on sale. I think it's pretty peaceful. It is growing on me, a little. <laughs> you didn't sound very sure there, babe, but okay. All right, Al, what are we doing today? We're gonna start tearing down this whole building here. Get it all ripped out, ready to go up. Woo woo! Oh yeah. It's kind of weird looking dirt. It's all mossy. All right, Al. What are we doing? Turn it up. It is solid sand. Look at that. Yeah. So we're just cutting the outside and then open it off. All these bags are so dry rotted now that they really just fall apart because they haven't been stuccoed over and kept out of the sun. I think we're gonna probably end up adding some cement to it. That way it hardens up a little better. We got our first room torn down. Wow, stuff is way harder to take down than it is to put up for sure, which is a good thing. So the bags have been really hard to get down. They're very solid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With all the barbed wire and... Moving on, oh, he's helping out Diesel. Diesel. He sees a camera come out and he's like, oh, look, I'm working. Yeah, we've kind of found too, like it's easier to like cut out small sections and pull them out. That way you can pull the dirt away from where you're working and you don't bury what you're trying to work on. It's it's quite the process to remove yeah. these things. We, we learned that the hard way. We wanted to replace this top piece, the ceiling piece inside this Dodge. As you can see, it's gone through its years. <laughs> and notice there's no middle console. No middle console section. Part of the wiring was not there to support the electronic console that went in the middle here. We're taking all of the, the electronics for the ceiling piece, which went up in Laramie, and putting it in this non-Laramie long bed truck. We just took the wiring harness out, take the dash under the screws on the top, fold it down, put in our wires with just a couple plugs. That electronic yeah, so here's one plug. That's the snap of the plug going in. Oh yeah. Here's the cool thing about having broken dashes. You can find all kinds of hidden treasures. All the new plugs that the last one didn't have are now here, like for lighting up the mirror. And the center console section now is gonna go in there. This extra little hand hold thing that I loved on the old truck and missed when we got this truck is back. We got the header, all the headers on, right, Bri? Yeah, Except we're for the center. This piece on. Then it's gonna be interesting to see if this is gonna actually work. Should I fire it up? Yeah. Lights work. 
We should see this too. Does this work? Oh, yeah. Look at that! Huh? Yeah! And if we... There we go. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. Miles per gallon right there. Okay. I'm gonna take a can of cement and mix it and pre-mix it with our dirt and put it on a little trough here underneath the window and have that set all done and ready to go over there. Putting in a footing for the post that we wanna run up to the top of the flues there to support all that. There's no rot on the window frame, so it looks like we're gonna be able to reuse them, which is really, really cool. All right, Al, how you doing? Yeah, pretty good, tired. A lot of work taking all this down. We had to uh, cut them all in little pieces because it's all very intertwined on this wall. Yeah, pretty buried, so. But we're getting there, almost there. Party. We about then? Ooh, yeah. Here it is, the last bag. Woo! Yeah, it's quite the amount of work to take down even a partial one of these buildings. Let me actually get started on this house here. There's a lot of bags. The truck's very full. We wear you out, these so. That right there, guys. You should never like a praying mantis again. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't watch. It's so gross. What are we doing? Well, tearing out the last layer so we can put in a new one. We kept this last layer on uh, while a few days while we were letting it set. That way, we didn't have a bunch of dirt falling over the bag. What you doing? I am... I'm gonna take this post out and put a T-post in. Center point to pull our string off of. We can measure our circle as we lay the bags down. All right, that should do it for the center post. And then I have a plan to get it up higher uh, once we get to that point and actually get it lower as well. I'm digging. <laughs> We're making a layout for a shower room. You can see the layout there, the main circles there. So it's going in this corner here. It's not a real bathroom, it's just a shower and like a little vanity sink. I got Ellie doing all the uh, the hard work, like the uh, the digging. You gotta keep your delicate stature. Yeah, I don't wanna get too buff. <laughs> I'm gonna build our leveling stick. I'm thinking pretty fancy here for us, actually. You gotta use duct tape for any pressure. Oh, 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 slight problem, <laughs> put it on the wrong side. We're professionals. So here's how my contraption works. So because we didn't have a long enough center pole to go to the top of the ceiling, I devised this little baby right here. It's just a level, but it's got these fancy eyelets and hooks on it. And then you can hook here and then bring the level to level and still go around. And then you can get that extra few feet to hopefully get to the top. With the big piles of dirt in the center, you can also go low and get the low measurement as well. There it is, boom. How do you know what piece is for what, Dad? Oh, it's a, it's guess. You know, if it fits, then it fits. No, there are some pieces that are built for inch and a half pipe, and some are built for the inch and a quarter for converting. So basically, go to plumbing school to figure out where all those pieces. That's go. the only way to do it. Is plumbing school. I can't think of another way. Huh? 
all coming together. Dad? Yes? What have we done? We do. <laughs> Can you get the pipe stretcher out, the four foot pipe stretcher, and we'll just stretch some pipe to fit that, huh? Hmm. This is easy, anybody can do it, I mean. This is why Dad's gone to plumbing school to figure this out. <laughs> what did I do with all that money I spent on plumbing school? Huh? Nice. That works! But it's laying down. Well, I mean, that's okay. We can we can maneuver, maneuver that and up. Like, and oh, this can go up, you see. Want to, oh, okay. Right here. I'm afraid of this kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, working. Yay! See, no leaks. Look, Mom. No leaks. All right, so last time when this building fell over, we have to do something to change that, obviously. We can't do the same thing. So a couple things we're doing now is the walls are now gonna be straight instead of curved, and we're gonna put a roof on. And then also, too, we've noticed that our dirt, when we took it out of the bag, was pretty sandy. So now what we've been doing is we've been adding about a coffee can of cement to every wheelbarrow we do, which we figure is somewhere around one in 20. We're gonna take and we're gonna do a little test bag and then let it harden and see how it hardens. And then from there, too, we can kind of adjust our mixture accordingly. This was our test piece that we uh, put together the other night. What we're looking for is this. Is this clumping? That's pretty good. Just needs to harden. And this looks pretty good, I think. And you can see all that sand over there. There's like hardly any dirt clods in it. And then just this little pile here has more. And that's what we're looking for. I think we're good. We're good. Done. Party. For the layout of the building now, we have two bedrooms on kind of the Mickey Mouse ears of it. And then there's a little like shower section off of the master bedroom. It's really the same size bedroom, but it does have the shower and we'll put like a little vanity in there too, but no sink or toilet. Yeah, we'll do like the main room. You come in, there'll be like a kitchen on the right and then probably the rocket stove in the front. And so. then off to the left, it can be like a little living area, couch or whatever. It's small, but it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be perfect for kind of the hunting cabin, small vacation home kind of thing. Preparing the machine. You have to, you have a couple of helpers there too. Yeah, they're quite helpful. <laughs> so if you've seen our previous videos, then you already know how the soil cement floor is done. But if you haven't, then the soil cement floor is pretty simple. All it is is some dirt with cement on top of it, about an inch of cement, and then we rototill it up and water it at the same time. This floor we added way more cement than we typically have to. We added like nine bags of cement, which is an insane amount. To give you an example, the Muse Art Studio, which is the big floor, we only did like three bags. We added a lot to make it really strong. The more cement you add, the harder it's gonna be. Put nine bags of cement in here, which is actually a lot. It's just gonna be a much more solid floor with not as much dust coming up as what we're looking for from the kitchen here. And not only that, they're taking all this extra time to make sure that this is completely level, which is gonna help later on when the guys lay tile. And then we tamp it right at the end, and that's how we kind of, we, that's how we've been making our soil cement floors. Finished tamping, now we're ready to water it down. Keeping the dust down is gonna be great. Well, we're actually gonna throw some carpets on there too, so when that big ugly wall comes down, uh, we'll have less dirt and that's gonna go into the house. So I'm just really, really pleased with their job. Been working hard and they are doing a superb job. We want it to cure a little bit slowly so it can get the maximum hardness. So we go ahead and we water it a few days afterwards. We just keep progressively watering it every couple hours or so. We have roughly about 25, 20 to 25 scoops in here with cement over the top. Give her a mix. Woo, we got her done. For Not done. Week. We're done for this week. We got three layers up on everything and then four layers in a couple places, which is pretty cool. 
um, I think it's gonna go fairly fast. Yeah. With the mixing of the, like the cement into the buckets, it's definitely gonna take us more time, mm -hmm. just cause it's you gotta mix every single wheelbarrow. We're getting hang of it though. Yep. Well, that wraps up this week. Thank you so much for being here. Stay tuned for next week as we continue more on the kitchen edition and the bathroom nice. edition. Dad, this looks stupendous. Wow, all the chrome and the, and the that totally put, ties everything together from top to bottom. Good job. Good job, Dad. Good. That's just excellent. Thank you. I've got uh, one thing of caulking I'm gonna put here and here. Okay. the dark caulking. When we first built this place, Yeah. Is not where the <laughs> sink went. So I had to get creative with some of the plumbing. Oh, you did good. It looks cute like that. We I can't buy the together. regular chrome pieces that fit like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I think the white and the white. I know. It's, it actually looks cute. Was, I, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Oh, good job. Good job. Uh, In between you and me, I think the days are numbered on this wall. Come here, big guy. What makes you think it's a guy? I don't know, I just, I never pictured <laughs> anything this big and ugly has to be a man. Wow, <laughs> no, <laughs> but maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know what? We should get him to pull a sled or something. You know, yeah, get I feel some like useful it would be stuff. helpful if we did that. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Oh, whoa, it's filming again. <laughs> Your water catchment device. My water catchment device there. Yeah. Wow, trash and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anywhere. Uh oh, display. What am I doing? Um, so the guys have been working really hard on this floor. 